So what's hot right now in electrical and computer engineering, specifically at Virginia Tech, is quantum engineering and quantum computing. And this is taking the discoveries that have been made in physics and chemistry and now translating them into engineering where we're gonna make quantum computers and the various components that are necessary to make those dreams come true. We have developed a, a quantum experiential learning laboratory. One of the reasons that we went along the pathway to develop this is because industry in the quantum uh, field demands students have hands-on experience. So this fiber joint tower is very unique in the country. They allow us to produce fibers that are multifunctional and flexible. So we're trying to develop three-dimensional bouquet-like devices that can go deep into the brain. And we can use these devices to detect abnormal neural signals in the brain during a seizure onset. Something that's unique to us is we have a very strong space science and engineering program that looks at space, weather, climate change, and different layers of the atmosphere. So the equipment that we have on the roof of Whittemore are called Pandora instruments. Now these instruments are taking measurements of sunlight. Based off of this information, we can better understand how these pollutants are impacting us, both at a personal level and at a societal level. So how can our graduate students shape the future? It's really through speed, efficiency, and size. We're always looking to miniaturize, make things faster, and make them more power efficient. The main project that I'm funded off of is a search and rescue project. So we're looking to augment like, the existing search and rescue paradigm with autonomous drones. Our goal is to get a swarm of drones to coordinate with one another and collaborate with the existing search and rescue personnel and provide like, real-time image processing from like a bird's eye point of view. In terms of the future of ECE, I think one core area to point to is machine learning. So with modern computational capability and our modern understanding of algorithms and machine learning theory, what we're seeing is that learning from data is now really effective. And you see this across so many facets of ECE. So autonomous driving, one of the, one of the big things that we do in ECE, or underwater vehicles for mapping ecological processes. All of these things require learning from data. So the grad students and students in general at Virginia Tech are amazing. And I think just the attitude of students at Virginia Tech, it just breeds teamwork. The people here are really friendly. And uh, I still remember the first uh, uh, one or two months I got into Blacksburg. Always kind people that are very friendly and are willing to help me. So I really enjoyed living in Blacksburg. What's great about it is seeing a student develop over a three to five year period. And the great moment when you know they're ready to graduate is when you realize they know more than you do.